The children that we're seeing today will range anywhere from kindergarten to 12th grade. A lot of these kids uh, have severe enough dental problems that they're missing school. All of our students have so much promise and potential, but many of them are in situations that they have no control over. Back in 2006, 2007, I was watching the nightly news on NBC and discovered a story about a boy named Diamante Driver who was 12. He had an abscess baby tooth, didn't have the money to extract it. His mom took him to the emergency room, then the hospital called him the next day and said the abscess infection had spread to his brain and that he had passed away. And just to see that mother's tears just really made me want to do something about it. To see the kids actually participating in and wanting to get their teeth clean and wanting to do it, you know, um, you know, that's all that you really want out of this program. We are screening all these kids, providing cleanings, putting on sealants. We are doing fillings, uh, extraction, stainless steel crowns. Uh, you will come in and, you know, uh, laugh and interact. Uh, you can get serious with this kid if you need to. Um, you can take a light on this kid, you can hard, you know. It, it just, it just, I like the whole environment that it, it brings and it creates. Some of the kids came up and hugged me and they never had a toothbrush. And one child said he's been sharing his toothbrush with his parent. We take it for granted, everybody's got a toothbrush. I just feel some gratification on feeling like I've actually been able to use the skills that I've gained over the years to just give back and help. They're going home with a new toothbrush and a new tube of toothpaste and they're going home with floss. To see a kid smile and be so proud, uh, I mean, that's incredible.